Hi, my name is Gareth and I'm the sports chaplain of a rugby club in a, in a little village in Wales called Venturg. And as a sports chaplain, I, I love sports. And, and if you're watching this on one of Sports Chaplains UK's platforms, I, I would imagine that you do too. But the reality is that we are very different and we may find ourselves in very different situations right now. For some, um, you're worried about health, your own or, or that of a loved one. Or perhaps uh, you know someone who's going through the pain of, of loss. For many, uh, we're worried about work and, and, and finance. And, 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 and for some, it's very stressful being in, in, enclosed in a small space with, with other people, especially if you are the main carer, perhaps elderly parents or, or children with uh, uh, additional needs. All kinds of people, all kinds of situations. But for many of us, the, the challenge is simply our, our physical health right at the moment. And, and, and the food cupboards are, are stocked up and, and, and the toilet paper is stacked up and we've already downloaded the exercise programs from the internet. So, so the physical side of things, we, we kind of uh, got that under control. But what about the emotional and the psychological side of things? Because we're going to be together in a confined space with, with a, 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 in some cases, a, a, quite a, 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 a number of people, um, it can be stressful. And I already see some couples struggling, uh, and there could be many reasons, but, but one of them is they, they find it hard because they have a different approach to it all. So what I'm about to share with you today, you know, just take something from it, apply it to your, uh, to your situation. And, and what I hope is that uh, uh, it will help us to just go easy in ourselves and be kinder uh, to one another and cut each other some slack. I've lived in this country now for more than 20 years and and my Welsh friends will, will not n n enjoy me uh, mentioning Sir Clive Woodward there. Uh, but I was quite taken by what he said uh, in, in, in 2003 when, when he, he led the English rugby team to a, a World Cup victory. He talked about energizers and energy sappers in his team. And then he worked relentlessly to get rid of the energy sappers. Even if these guys were better players, more talented, if they had more gifts than the, the energizers, he didn't want the energy sappers around because he didn't want any negative influence around the camp. Chris Hadfield is a, a Canadian astronaut who, who, who puts it this way. Whenever you find yourself in a new situation, whether it's in a, a lift or in a rocket ship, you will be perceived in one of three ways. Minus one, you create problems. You are actively harmful. Zero, you don't tip the balance one way or another. Or a plus one. You uh, 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 have a positive influence on the outcome. You, you actively add value to the situation. In other words, you can be an energizer, an energy sapper, or, 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 or just a zero. Now, living in the constraints of this incredible situation that we find ourselves in right now, we see people responding in different ways, and it's a whole range. One end, you have people who, who panic a, a, a little bit, or, or perhaps a little bit dramatic, or they're really stressed and worried about it. And, and then you have some who are relaxed, yes, but, but they are vigilant. And, and then you have those who are, who are, who are quite, quite reckless and, and irresponsible. A huge range of, 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 of types of reactions and, 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 and lots of ways in, in between. But here's the point. The way we respond to the situation will determine whether we have a positive influence on, on, on the situation. In other words, we are a plus one or an energizer, or we have a negative effect. We are an energy sapper or, or a minus one. But here's the best bit. We get to choose our response. It is Dr. Viktor Frankl who said, um, you know, Dr. Viktor Frankl was a Jewish psychiatrist who survived the concentration camps of the Second World War. And he lost everything. Lost his wife, his family, his friends. And, and he, he managed to get through the, those concentration camps. And, and when they, when, when, when they uh, 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 freed the people of the, of the camps, they, they asked him, Dr. Frankl, how did you manage not only to get through it, but also to help others uh, uh, get through it? He said, sometimes you find yourself in a situation and you are not in control. Someone else may be in control, and they could take away your liberty. They could take away your health. They could take away your loved ones. They could take your, away your, your very life. 
but the last human freedom that no one can take away is your freedom to choose your response, to choose your attitude in any given situation. Now I said earlier and I, and I say again, life is hard for some people right now and if you are going through a tough time, I do not mean to step uh, on, on your pain. And as sports chaplains, if we can be there for you in any way, uh, we'd love to do that. And, and I know that not everyone shares our faith, uh, but we'd like to help you if we can and perhaps even pray for you. Sometimes prayer is, is all we got. But if we can bring a little bit of hope, we'd love to serve you in, in, in any way we can. But for the vast majority of us, we get to choose our attitude. We get to choose our response. Energizers or energy sappers. May I encourage you again, go easy on yourself, be kind with one another, and cut each other some slack. If we could be there for you, please get in touch.